Okay, so the NVIDIA RTX 2000 series showing opened up with some pretty good jokes about how every single thing on the internet was wrong. Well, some was, and well, let's talk about the official specs now that it's 100% official. So let's kick things off with the $1,199 GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. Yes, $1,000. $199, same price as the Titan X Pascal when it launched. We're looking at the reference spec here, so there will be overclock variants of the card, of course, but the RTX 2080 Ti is powered by Turing, of course, with a base clock of 1,350 MHz with a boost clock of 1,545 MHz through a new GPU Boost 4.0. Memory is handled by 11 gigabytes of GDDR6 at 14 gigabits per second on a 352 bit bus with a crazy 616 gigabytes per second of bandwidth. It does support SLI through the new NVLink as well as being rated for a TDP of 250 watts with a pair of 8 pin PCIe connectors. So hopefully that'll allow for some quite good overclocking and some headroom in there, maybe they will be shipping out around September 20th of this year. The RTX 2080 is coming in at a price of $799 for the Founders Edition, coming in at a base clock of 1515 MHz, so a bit faster than the 2080 Ti in terms of frequency, with a boost rating of 1710 or 1800 MHz OC rating. Memory is sporting 8 GB of GDDR6 running at 14 GB per second on a 256-bit bus, resulting in a memory bandwidth of 448 GB per second. Still getting SLI on this card through the use of NVLink support, and rated at a TDP of 225 watts with a 6 plus 8 pin design. And just like the 2080 Ti, the 2080 will be shipping around September 20th of this year. Now admittedly, we greatly missed the mark on this one entirely as far as pricing goes, but the RTX 2070 is coming in at an eye-watering $599 and right now doesn't have a release date. Clock speeds are based on the at 1410 MHz with a boost of 1620 and 1710 on OC mode. Memory thankfully comes in at 8 gigabytes, rocking the full speed 14 gigabyte, gigabits per second on a 256-bit bus, keeping the same 448 gigabytes per second bandwidth as the RTX 2080. And guess what? No SLI here. Just like the 1060 before it, it looks like we're moving up on the step of exclusion. As far as power goes, we're looking at 175 watt TDP with a single 8 pin. Another big thing to note is, you've probably seen that up on screen already, but new Founders Edition coolers. So open air design, gone is the blower style, so you're probably not going to see any thermal issues as far as limiting, and it's going to make things really interesting when it comes to board partner variants versus the Founders Edition. I really think they did a good job on the aesthetics and the way it looks, it'll be interesting to see how it performs. Well that wraps up everything so far, and you're probably wondering why no CUDA core listing. Well, it's because at the time of filming, they don't exist on the official site. But we'd love to hear from you on your thoughts from everything from pricing to the exclusion of SLI on the 70 class card. And this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video.